There's a new manager position available. Derry City managerial position. Derry City are looking for a new manager who will be able to guide the team to a top half finish within the Irish Premier League. Yeah, man, let's do it. Hello? Oh, hi, Philip. Would I like to become the Derry City Manager? Did you not want to interview me or anything? No? Do you, you think from my CV that I'm good enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to become the Derry City Manager. I've always loved Northern Ireland. 19 years since your last league title. Yeah, yeah. I think that's far too long as well. Give me two and I think I've got it. You think the League of Ireland could use a man like me? I agree, yeah, yeah, definitely. You you want me to start in a week's time? Yeah, no, not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Um, yeah, is there anything else? No? I will see you in a week then, Philip. Thank you. Wow. Looks like I've got a new job. Yes, a new book has arrived. David Healy, what a hero. Siri, tell me about the League of Ireland. The League of Ireland is a national association football league of the Republic of Ireland. The Derry's, Derry's, Derry's in Northern Ireland, but we're in the Republic of Ireland League. Oh, you're going to be no good then, David. Right. Uh, Robbie Keane, what a hero. Wait, how? Give me a little while. <clears throat> right, so nine months later, here we are. The season has ended. This is the first season we had with Derry City. And as you can see from the screen, went a lot better than expected. So we won the Irish Senior Challenge Cup and we won the Irish League Cup. We also finished second in the league, which is really good. Um, start of the season, they expect a kind of top half position. Um, we haven't won the league in 19 years, so it's a little disappointing that we're picked kind of at the end of the season or later part of the season for the top spot. Um, we had a really poor kind of middle period um, where we couldn't win a game. We, I think, went about 11 games without a league win. Um, as you can see kind of here, there's a lot of draws in there. We only lost six games in the league, um, but we faded away towards the end of it. And... Unfortunately, we ended second, but it's still a lot better than we thought. Um, so one of our standout players, Campbell, on loan from Notts County, former Newcastle striker, that's the one. Um, he got 16 goals in 30 games in the league. And yeah, who knows what it would have been like without him. Um, so I will show you the squad quickly and we'll briefly kind of touch on this. Um, really solid squad. Had to make a few changes um, on a limited budget as well. So everyone was a free transfer or a loanee. Um, the goalkeeper we signed, McLaughlin, um, played 42 games for us, but we needed someone with a bit of quality. Um, three and a half star, he did us proud. The defence, we got a few players in, like it kind of changed, especially towards the end of the season. We had a lot of injuries and had to make quite a few changes in the team and bring in a few free transfers as well. So in Slaver, four star right back, from Spain, really good, did us proud, solid, nothing um, crazy, but he did a really good job. Um, Pribery, former Rangers player, um, did really well, but kind of faded towards the end of the season and stopped playing. Um, Conlon, and uh, I'm going to call him Adele because I can't pronounce his name, um, both signed on free transfers later on in the season, but I see big futures for them at the club. And players like Dean Jarvis and Aaron Barry as well, 
um, both at Derry and good solid players and hopefully will be here for a few seasons to come in the midfield McCormack he did really well for us he was here when I got here three and a half stars had a few lonely players um, Matt Butcher stayed around there was another one as well that was a first team regular but I couldn't keep him at the club unfortunately and the wingers Stephen Dooley and Mark Timlin both absolute beasts on the wing four stars Mark Timlin did absolutely amazing on the left could also play up front if we need him as well um, and Timlin left midfield four stars and also can play as striker Stephen Dooley as well um, left and right wing predominantly on the right wing though four stars current and potential ability absolutely amazing they both did us proud um, a lot of kind of rotation players there another free transfer that we got um, Shikoti, um, 37 years old, so his contract actually expires next month and won't be renewed, unsurprisingly. He only played five league games, scored two goals, um, predominantly was kind of a backup guy. I, like I said, that we had a lot of injuries, um, and we just needed kind of a bit of depth to the squad to see us through. When we lost, or when we didn't, when we were only won one game in 11, had to bring in a few new players to freshen up the squad. And I'll show you the transfers now so you can get a kind of feel of it. Right, so transfer-wise, um, let's go through the outs first. Curran went out on loan. Um, Flanagan, McDermott and McCourtley all went out on free transfers. There would have been more that went out on free transfers, but unfortunately we couldn't agree compensation with anyone. Or when we could, we couldn't afford it, basically. Um, so there's a lot of players kind of around the club that would have been released to free up some funds for wages but unfortunately we couldn't get rid of them luckily i think all of them should be leaving in the next um couple of months so that will hopefully free up a bit of wages for next season um the transfers in obviously campbell who i spoke about solid striker banged in the goals for us mclaughlin down the other end keeping them out and theo wharton he did really well on loan from cardiff he actually got released on a free from them which is why we couldn't extend it and he wouldn't sign for us for anything that we could afford basically um, Matt Butcher on loan from Bournemouth did really well, solid centre mid uh, in Slaver as we said, Cribbery, um, Jordan Marshall um, and then kind of towards the bottom were uh, kind of when we needed players to come in as backup and to cover injuries. So Mark Seitz um, should be around for a little while, um, decent young player. Um, Chakoti, Gary McDonald and McCarthy will probably be leaving very soon. Um, I don't anticipate signing new contracts with any of them. Uh, Adele and Colin, Colin? Conlon um, will be sticking around. They're both good solid players, so they will be here next season. Um, we'll have a look at the B squad. There's a couple of good solid players in there. As you can see, a lot of kind of contract expiring. Um, a few players that we're trying to get rid of that we haven't been able to. Um, but there's two players in here that have kind of a good potential for us and hopefully will be um, future first team players um, so Rory Holden and Jason I can't even pronounce that Murtagh um, I, I don't know Irish names so I apologize if anyone from Ireland knows what that is um, so Rory Holden a young striker um, from Northern Ireland brought up in this club which is always good um, and who was it lost him let's go back to potential ability jason there he is jason from the um horror series and where is he potential jason there we go so he has a potential of about three and a half stars so hopefully we'll do really well in the future he's only 16 at the moment he's four silver stars at the moment so it'll probably be a little while before you see him back in a first team shirt um, or when I say back in a first team shirt in a first team shirt he hasn't actually made a competitive appearance yet um, yeah so that's kind of the future of the squad those two players looking at the finance so the finance as you can see we are currently um, in the red we are £700,000 in debt, um, which hopefully we'll be able to clear some of that 
the wages coming off will help looking at that it's kind of increased 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 the wage budget is seven thousand seven hundred nineteen pound the current wage total including bonuses is twelve thousand three hundred and sixty pounds so we are well over our target and we have a lot of work to do but there will be quite a few players leaving hopefully it will be increased slightly next season we do have european football coming to the club which is great we'll be in the europa league um, so it's kind of the start of things to come and it's a long it's not summer because it's november we've got a few months to level everything out clear out what we don't want bring in new ones um, staff wise it's a small set of staff but they're a, they're a good team there we go so as you can see it's not a big set of staff um, but we're, we're a fairly small club at the moment as I said 19 years now 20 years since we've won a league um, the idea is next season in my eyes we should be top of the league we should win the league and I'm hoping that we can get into the group stages of the Europa League. And I think that is possible. So the plan, like I said, next season we will finish top in the league. I will pretty much guarantee that. If we don't, um, I will do some kind of forfeit. I don't know what, but hey-ho. Um, the plan is to try get into the European group stages. I'm not as confident on that. It depends on kind of the transfers that I can bring in this summer. Unfortunately, Ireland isn't kind of a top European league at the moment. And fingers crossed that we can change Derry City's fortunes. 20 years is far too long to win a title. Um, not only Derry City, though, we want League of Ireland to be up there. We want League of Ireland to be kind of one of the top 10 European um, countries. Let's go for, let's go for that. Uh, or one of the top European leagues, sorry. Um, I think I think it's all doable. We've won two trophies already, which is always a good start. Right, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Um, this is the first Football Manager that I've actually ever done. So let me know kind of any comments, anything you think I should be doing to improve the videos. Um, also how kind of regular um, I should upload these videos because this first year of Derry City was just kind of an idea that I came up with a file that I was already doing. Um, really enjoying it and I thought kind of why not share this. I know people that upload um, Football Manager videos and I really enjoy watching them myself. Um, and I thought this is kind of a challenge that could work um, and hopefully other people enjoy it. And going forward, I'd like to kind of show um, more of the matches more regularly. So obviously there's a lot to show for a whole year on one file and I didn't want this to drag out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and until next time guys, goodbye.